Hey everybody, Al Puglisi. What are we going to talk about right now? Well, I'm going to talk about Big Brother, Little Brother. I did a little short uh, telling you that the beautiful Wilson Instruments building, which is now the Sherwood Williams Paint Building in O-Scale, making an HO version of it. And these models are available in O-Scale and HO scale. And also, uh, right behind me here, to the right hand side, you see all these beautiful boxcars, hundreds of them. Let's take a quick look. Coming up on our channel on a regular basis, Howard Zane has made hundreds and hundreds of what's called what could have been series cars. These freight cars are handmade, one of a kind. They don't have prototypes, but they could have prototypes. There are hundreds of them available. I can keep stepping back and panning back and panning back, but that's for another episode. Right now, let's talk about Big Brother and Little Brother. Right over here, here's Mr. H O scale, right next to the Colossus O scale. Let's take a closer look. Now keep in mind that the HO scale version is still a work in progress, folks. It is not weathered. It is by no means finished, but wanted to give you a, a video of the O scale versus, versus the HO scale. Kind of show you where I am. Interesting to see the two of them. The O scale one here is about 40 inches across on the diorama. The HO scale version I'm in the process of building, actually that's going to be going on my layout fits on a diorama that is 8 inches wide by 21 inches long. And it is a work in progress. I have yet to make the dormers, and we have not weathered this structure as yet. You can see the stark difference between the unweathered roof and the weathered roof. Uh, we're going to go through how to uh, weather these roofs when we do the weathering video on my model. But again, you can see the red rosin paper pre-weathered versus the red rosin paper weathered. What a dramatic difference. Let's pan up on the top of the structure. Take a look at the cupola weathered versus uh, an unweathered cupola. Again, it's not finished. The dormers have not been made yet. Kind of gives you an interesting idea. Remember, Howard and I have always said that when we make these models, there's always none are identically identical to each other. I took some artistic license. Uh, Howard has fire escape and a cyclone on the front, and I, on my particular one, uh, wanted to have a, a loading dock for trucks to unload and pick up, hence the uh, metal roof versus not having a metal roof. Subtle differences, but very similar. Let's take a look at the other sections here, HO scale. You have the unweathered tops of these buildings versus the weathered tops in O scale. Pan around. I'll show you something else we talked about earlier on previous videos. You can use Walther's HO scale roof vents and details both for O scale and HO scale. They both look equally appropriate. And we've talked about these before, but these are the roof details, part number 933-3733. You can get these at your local hobby shop. You can get these online. Uh, you can even get these on Amazon. It's a kit. It comes with uh, all you see here, some air conditioning units, cyclone, you know, some vents, exhaust chimneys, stacks. It can be used for O scale or HO scale. You can see we have quite a few of them here in the studio. Here's some more shots of the HO version versus the O scale version. Now, you might ask yourself, why are the HO buildings so closely priced to the O-scale buildings? Well, it takes the same amount of labor, as far as labor hours, to make an HO building as it does an O-scale building. The only difference is the O-scale building 
uh, the materials cost is much, much higher because the materials are more expensive and they're, you know, they're much, much bigger. But as far as the amount of time it took to make this annex building on the far right you see here, the amount of time it took to make that building was the exact same amount of time it's taken me to make this HO scale version of it. Uh, it's, it, it is what it is. So time-wise, the amount of time that I'll have wrapped up in this HO version is going to wind up being the same exact amount of time we wound up in the big O scale building. Again, a work in progress, folks. You can see the difference between this this building here versus the weathered the weathered appearance of using the pastels makes a huge, huge difference. Well, folks, we do not sell these buildings as kits. We custom build these buildings in HO or O scale. If you'd like to have a building built for you, please send me an email at alpug1, that's A-L-P-U-G, the number one, at verizon.net. All the inquiries, just again, alpug1 at verizon.net. I'll be happy to give you a price, whether you'd like one in HO scale or whether you'd like one in O scale. Thanks very much for watching the channel, and please hit the subscribe button. It helps us tremendously push the YouTube videos out. Thanks so much.